When you think about the human vocal cords, which are about the length of your little fingernail, and you hear somebody like Elena sing, it's amazing to me that such tiny muscles can produce such an incredible sound. I think I, I pretty much always knew. I would always run around the house singing and saying I either want to be a singer or an actress. Still a pretty young age, like early teens, we did a performance and I had a woman come up to me um, who I didn't know, just I think she was a parent of someone or something, and she was in tears and she personally came up to me to thank me because she said she saw the emotion of the music on my face and that it really touched her. For me, that was the moment where I realized music is more than just fun. It's, it really means something and it, you can touch people in a way that you can't with anything else. It was quite devastating. He just has an excellent year and he said, you sound, you sound great, but something is a little off. They caught the nodules at a very, very early stage. <laughs> Having that worry of that you're your vocal cords, your mechanism, what you want to make your life off of it isn't quite right. I was pretty crazed, just had to keep at vocal therapy. Today, um, after 10 years, which is extraordinary, I met back up with my vocal therapist. You look great. Thank you. Welcome back to Akron. Thank you. She was a great support for me during that time, and so seeing her today, catching up, talking about vocal therapy, it was just a really great experience. It was very humbling to me to learn and that you were going to be going on and uh, having a professional career in voice. I've been giving a really great opportunity to sing in France um, with the Franco-American Vocal Academy. They've offered me the role of Annie Klaus in the Tales of Hoffman, which is actually a dream role of mine. It's a really great mezzo role, but this is an extraordinary experience for me and for my career and hopefully the next steps. <laughs>